Hello friends, welcome to automation community. In the previous video, we have discussed about push buttons. In that case, we have used two push buttons. One to turn on the output and the second one to turn off the output. So in this video, we will use only one push button. Firstly, when we press the push button and released, output will be on. And then, when we will press the same push button and released, output will be off. When switch 1 is turned on and then turned off, then output will be on. And then, when switch 1 is turned on and then turned off, then output will be off. So in this case, we are using only one push button. That is, when push button is pressed and released, output will be on and when the same push button is pressed and released, then output will be off. So push buttons are simple mechanical switches that are used to control electrical circuits by manually pressing them and releasing them. They are commonly found in a variety of devices and applications from electronic devices like calculators and remote controls to industrial machinery and control panels. When you press a push button, it completes an electrical circuit, allowing current to flow and triggering a specific action, such as turning on a light, activating a motor or sending a signal. And push buttons can be momentary, meaning they only maintain the electrical connection while they are held down or latching where they stay in the pressed or unpressed state until manually changed. That is, when it is pressed and then released, output still remains on. So this is called latching. So let's move to EcoStructure Machine Expert where we will draw a ladder diagram in which we will use only one push button firstly to turn on the output and then the same push button to turn off the output. I will open EcoStructure Machine Expert Basic. I will keep read protection as inactive and write protection as inactive and then click on apply. Then I will go to configuration tab. So here is a list of different logic controllers having different configurations. So if I have to select TM221C16U, I will click on it and then drag it to here and then yes. And if I, if my mind has been changed, that is when I have to select TM221C24R, I will click on it and then drag it to here. Do you want to replace? You may lose some features and associated configurations. I will click on yes. So here is a description about the device that is TM221C24R. It has 14 digital inputs, 10 relay outputs, 2 analog inputs, one serial line port and 100 to 240 volt AC power supply controller with removable terminal blocks. And then I can also go to serial line where I can change protocol settings, serial line settings. Then I will select protocol as TMS2GDB and then click on apply. Then I will go to programming tab. So here I will be drawing ladder diagram for push button in which we will use only one push button to turn on and turn off the output. So I can also click on this option for a full screen mode and then I can also zoom into it like this. I can also zoom out by pressing this button. 
So firstly, I will insert a normally open contact. And then I will insert a coil here. So I will assign address to the contact as I 0.0. I will also add symbol to it as switch 1. Yes. And then I will assign address to the coil as Q 0.0. .0. I will also add symbol to it as output. Yes. So when switch one is turned on, output will be on. And when switch one is turned off, output will be off. But when switch one is turned off, output should remain on. So in this case, we will latch it here. So I will insert one more normally open contact. I will assign address to it as Q 0.0, .0 which is the output. Then I will click on this option and then draw a line like this. So when switch one is turned on, output will be on and when switch one is turned off, output will remain on as we have latched it here. So to turn off output, we are using the same switch. So here I will insert a normally closed contact in rung 1 and then I will insert a coil here. I will assign address to it as M0 which is a memory bit. So this memory bit will be used here to turn off the output and then I will latch it here that memory bit that is M0 I will insert one more normally open contact and then I will join it like this. So here I will assign address to this normally closed contact same as switch 1 as we are using it to turn off the output that is I 0.0, .0 which is switch 1 and then I will assign address to this normally open contact same as this memory bit that is M 0. And then I will insert one more normally open contact here and I will assign address to it as same as output that is Q 0.0. .0. So when switch 1 is turned off, the current will flow through it and when output is on, then the current will also flow through it and then M0 will be true. And then I will add a new rung here and then I will insert one more normally open contact. I will assign address to it as I 0.0, .0 which is switch 1 and then I will insert one coil here and I will assign address to it as M1 which is a memory bit and then here I will insert one more normally open contact And I will assign address to it as same as this memory bit that is M0. And then I will latch memory 1 here. So I will insert one more normally open contact here. And then I will connect it like this. So I will assign address to it as same as this memory bit that is M1. And this M1 will be used to turn off the output. And for that, I will go to rung 0 where I will insert a normally closed contact. And I will assign address to it as same as M1. M1. 
yes so here when switch one is turned on the current will flow through it and here m1 which is a normally closed contact so in false state the current also passes this and output will be on and when switch one is turned off as we have done latching here we have latched output here the current will flow through it and output will remain on that is when switch one is on output will be on and then when switch one is turned off output still remains on and then when we have turned off switch one the current will flow through it and output is on when we have pressed and release switch output is on and when output is on and when switch one is off the current will flow through it as it is a normally closed contact when off that is when in false state the current flow through it and when output is on the current also passes through it and then m0 gets true and and it will remain true and then when switch one is again turned on the current will flow through it and m0 is on when switch one was off and output was on m0 was on and here when again switch one is turned on m0 was uh, previously on the current flows through it and m0 m1 gets true and when m1 gets true here here we have used m1 as normally closed contact and here when m1 gets true the current does not flow through it and as a result output goes off and then when switch one is turned off m1 still remains on and output still remains off so i will exit full screen mode i will compile the program and then i will go to commissioning and launch simulator and then i will start controller to do so click okay then i will go to programming tab and i will click on a full screen mode so when i turn on switch one output will be on as when i have turned on switch one the current flow through it and m1 is in false state and it is a normally closed contact when in false state the current flows through it and as a result output will be on and then when switch one is turned off as we have latched output here output still remains on that is the current will flow through it and passes through m1 as it is a normally closed contact and then output will remain on and then when switch one is false that is when we have turned off switch one the current flows through it as it is a normally closed contact and when the current flows through it and then output is previously turned on as we have used here a normally open contact 
the current also flows through it as output is on the current flow through it and m0 that is a memory bit gets turned on and when m0 gets on then we will use this m0 to turn on or to turn true m1 that is when we press push button second time then i will turn on switch one that is when switch one is turned on the current flows through it and m1 will be on and when m1 will be on here it is a normally closed contact when it gets true the current does not flow through it and as a result output will be turned off and then when i turn off switch one when i turn off switch one m1 also gets false and when m1 gets false the current will flow through it and output should be on but as previously output gets turned off when i turn on switch one and as a result the current does not flow through it and output gets off so when i press and release push button output gets on and then again when i press and release the same push button output gets turned off so in some cases we use two push buttons to turn on the output and the second push button to turn off the output and in some cases in industrial uh, application we sometimes use same push button that is when we turn on first time the output will be on and then when we press it again the second time the output gets off actually these push buttons complete circuit when pressed and when they are released it breaks the circuit so when it is pressed and released output should remain on for that we use latching that is when switch one is turned on output is on and then when switch one is turned off output should remain on for that we use latching here so when it is pressed and then released output gets on actually push button works like when it is pressed it completes the circuit and it should turn on output and when it is released it breaks the circuit that is output should should get turned off but here we use latching that is when we pressed output gets on and then when we release we use latching to to hold that output on so here we have used same push button that is when we press and then release we have latched it here so for a push button it should break the circuit that is output should get off but we have latched it here output still remains on and then when i again turn it that is press it and then release output gets off it was all about this example thank you for watching